Well, let me get you on this. Your thoughts on Donald Trump's dinner with Ye, the artist formerly known as Kanye West, and a known white supremacist, Nick Fuentes, at Donald Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I the the fact the fact that 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 President Trump had dinner with uh with a uh, someone who has a history of anti-Semitic comments and a history of of white nationalist beliefs uh, and Nick Fuentes, you know, it it says a lot. Uh, it's also not news. Uh, you know, this is this is something that, that I, I, I think that, that governor elect. <laughs> <I caught that. laughs> but go on, continue. <laughs> but but I mean, but this but this is this is something that I think is is more par for the course uh, that we've continued to see, uh, and I think it's something that's also just remarkably dangerous. Uh, that uh, that that when we're talking about the the views of where people are in the state of Maryland uh, and beyond. I, I think people realize and understand that that conversations and 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 beliefs about anti-Semitism uh, and white nationalism they have no place in our dialogue, and they will have no place in our dialogue. And, and I think that you know people continue to see that when we're talking about loving your country, uh, and what does it mean to love your country? Loving your country does not mean hating half of the people in it. Right. Loving your country does not mean focusing on taking down the democrat, the, 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 the democratic foundation that the country is built on. Loving your country does not mean honoring elections as long as it goes your way. That when we talk about loving our country, it means that understanding that our history flaws and all has still allowed us the opportunity to get to a better place. And so I, I and I think about it where where we you know with with my own family, where my own fa- I come from a family of patriots, people who have people who have served in classrooms, people who have served in the military, people, you know, people who have served in the ministry, people who have loved this country, even when the country did not love them back. And they kept on fighting and they kept on loving this country. And so the idea that you can have dinners in, in Mar-a-Lago or in West Hollywood uh, amongst people who are talking about this country as, as if, as if our, 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 our democracy uh, is not fragile is amazingly dangerous. And so I think it's, it's, it's perfectly appropriate that we now are watching not just Democrats, but Republicans who are calling this out. And I also think the thing that we're going to continue to do is focusing on showing people, Democrats, independents, and Republicans, to show them here is what good governance looks like. Here is what democracy looks like and why it can benefit all people as long as we actually choose to work together and not pick and choose who are our, who are our neighbors and then who are our fellow citizens and not. 